So here's her stage propaganda, Gunther Eagleman video, right in North Carolina. Look how staged it is. She's walking next to this guy, and they don't even talk to each other. They wait for the cameras to click on, and then she starts to walk in an area that makes no sense for even, for her to even be in. Play for me, Will. I mean, let's compare the videos between Kamala Harris and Trump. Look at her. Uh, walk now. Walk now. Okay. Ready? Go. Up. Okay. So she goes. And she's sitting here talking. Look. She's not even talking to the guy. Let's wait till she gets your stupid head out of the way, you dummy. Who's, I can't stand with people. So finally, they're saying, look, she's saying nothing. They're not saying anything. Not saying anything. She's just nodding her head to nothing. What is she nodding her head to? Finally, he talks. They're not even saying anything. <laughs> what, 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 what is the purpose of her walking down a road with a bunch of pine needles on it. What, what's the point? You have Trump there handing out food. What did Trump bring? Dump trunks, gasoline trunks, food and provisions. What did Kamala Harris bring? So Donald Trump is a very rich man. Would we all agree? Yeah. He's a very rich man. Yep. Okay, Aaron agrees. He's a rich man. We're worth about $8, $8 billion. Well, he brought a full, he bought food, provisions, water, gasoline. Kamala Harris sits at the helm of a... Uh, eight, uh, let's see, it's $6.8, 7000000000000 dollar budget. And FEMA's budget alone is, I don't can't remember, $20, 30000000000 billion. And what does she bring? Nothing. She brought in seven days later. What? I mean, again, if Will and Aaron and I hopped in Aaron's F- F-150 and we drove up there, we could be the, in this area right here in 10 hours. This is Augusta, Georgia. As a matter of fact, we could be in Augusta, Georgia in seven hours. And it took Kamala Harris seven days to get there. And now that she's there, this was, walk now. Where should I walk? Walk now. Now pretend you're talking to me. Pretend you're talking to me. Okay, I'm pretending. And she said, oh, thank you for pretending. Okay, I'm going to pretend some more. Okay, thank you for pretending some more. That's all she did. Absolutely nothing. All right, let's go to the next one. Benny John- it's a uh, Benny Johnson video. Don't you worry. The typical federal A government response is coming your way. Listen, all of you that no longer have a home, have no water, um, are dying right now because nobody's rescuing you and they're kicking out the civilian helicopters that are trying to rescue you. That's happening, by the way, which we'll get to. Um, Because FEMA doesn't want anybody else getting glory outside of them, even though they haven't been there for seven days now and still aren't there. They're there. uh, They're there. uh, Basically, they're they're there uh, in position only. They're standing there. They're not doing anything not rescuing anybody, and they're trying to kick everybody out who's actually doing things. Um, But don't worry, the usual government response is coming. You may have no water system, you may have no home, you may have no food, you may have no water, you may have no business, but don't worry, don't worry. Here's what Kamala's going to give you. Play for me, Will. Uh, And the federal relief and assistance that we have been providing has included um, FEMA providing $750 for folks who need immediate needs being met. Don't you worry. What is it with the government and the six to seven hundred dollar response? What is it? I mean, again, we are thirty six trillion dollars in debt. Eight hundred seventy two people watching that I can see. I don't know how many people are watching on Christian Television Network. Thirty six trillion dollars in debt. And by the way, we set world record debt. Congratulations! I want everybody to know we set world record debt today alone. I'm going to get to that in a minute. World record debt, like two hundred and sixty billion dollars today alone. Just so you know, that's where we're at. Under. This idiot's leadership. So I don't know what it is with the six to seven hundred dollar response. Like during COVID, we're shutting down your business, and you're say you're you're in New York City. We're shutting down your business, and it costs you twelve thousand dollars a month in rent. You're like Tommy, nobody Tom, nobody pays that much. Listen, I rented a church for ten thousand dollars a month. I know what it's like. Okay, I get it. And then the next church that I rented was uh, five to six thousand dollars a month. I get it. So here's the thing: these weren't church buildings. These were just you know buildings that we made into churches. But anyway. So you shut down somebody's business and their lease payment every month is $12,000. But don't you worry, the government's going to give you $600 a month. Or they're going to give you a one-time payment of $600. Does this sound familiar to anybody? Because the $700 payment was exactly what they gave to everybody in Maui whose house is burned to the ground. Remember in Maui where they had the windstorm come in and strangely this fire lit and they turned off all the water and made everybody stay in the burning city? Remember they had the police redirecting people back into the flames? 
and for some reason didn't turn the water on and then offered everybody $700? Well, same thing here. You may have no house. You may have no water. You may have no job. You may have no business. But don't you worry. The country that's $36 trillion in debt, and she's a multi-multi-millionaire, just got caught wearing a $62,000 necklace to the border at her latest border, at her one and only true border visit. <laughs> But, and here's the thing. Look at it right now. Why do you have to read this off a teleprompter? Why, why are you reading this off a teleprompter? Look at her. She's, I mean, literally, folks, all she's saying is everybody's going to get a $750 payment from FEMA for those most in need. Uh, you, can't just read, you can't just say that. I'm just saying it off the top of my head right now. Everybody in North Carolina, everybody in Georgia, everybody in Tennessee who's in dire need, you're going to get $750 from FEMA. I just said it. She has to read it off of a prepared sheet. I'm telling you, these people are so out of their league and so out of their element and so out of the realm of their own IQ. These are stupid human beings. She is a stupid person. And offering $700, so basically, they're giving you $100 a day since she's responded. $100 a day. $100 a day since the hurricane hit. The seven days that she wasn't there until finally today. She shows up. Finally shows up. And where, by the way, the President of the United States still hasn't shown up. <laughs> 